Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome back to another daily devotion. This devotion is being recorded for broadcast on Wednesday, uh, April 13th of 2022. And we are going to be looking at Matthew chapter 10, verses 16 to 23. And as I record this, the weather here is getting a little bit spooky. It's the 12th of April right now, and the weather's going to be a little bit iffy tonight. Hopefully, when I uh, put this up on the morning, we won't have had a great deal of storm damage, uh, but it looks like it could be a rough night. Uh, so, and prayers for those uh, in hindsight and ahead of time uh, for those that might be affected by the storm. Um, so, let's take a look. We, we, we're in chapter 10, uh, 10 verses 16 to 23 is what we're going to look at in Matthew's Gospel. Uh, we've gone through with Jesus uh, appointing the disciples, the apostles rather, not disciples. He, he's got the disciples, a larger pool of people. He's appointed the 12 apostles, the sent ones, and he sent them. And now he's giving them a bit of instruction as, and now go, but, oh, and, and just a minute as you go. And these words speak to us too. These are words we should take to heart as well, because they do play into our own time and our own mission, our own ministry, because we are apostles as well. We are sent. So with that, let's see what we've got here. Let's look at 16 to 23 in Matthew chapter 10. See, I am sending you out like sheep into the midst of wolves. So be wise as serpents and innocent as doves. Beware of them, for they will hand you over to councils and flog you in their synagogues, and you will be dragged before governors and kings because of me, as a testimony to them and the Gentiles. When they hand you over, do not worry about how you are to speak or what you are to say, for what you are to say will be given to you at that time. For it is not you who speak, but the Spirit of your, your Father speaking through you. Brother will betray brother to death, and a father his child, and children will rise against parents and have them put to death, and you will be hated by all because of my name, but the one who endures to the end will be saved. When they persecute you in one town, flee to the next, for truly I tell you, you will not have gone through all the towns of Israel before the Son of Man comes. Okay. Um, this, this last verse 23, we'll take that on first and then back up. Uh, verse 23, where it says, uh, you, when you persecute, well, excuse me, pardon me. Verse 23, when they persecute you in one town, flee to the next. For truly, I tell you, you will not have gone through all the towns of Israel before the son of man comes. Lots of times folks say, Hey, this is, the scripture's wrong here. Jesus hasn't come back yet. That's not what he's saying. Uh, what he's saying here is that this is a reference to Daniel chapter 7, uh, where the Son is, is the, the, the kingdoms of the earth are conquered, and the God, God the Father is handing them over to the Son, the Son of Man, to the Son of Man when he comes to the Father. So when Jesus is crucified and he is risen and he ascends, he goes back to the Father. And when he goes back to the Father, this is the fulfillment of the Son of Man coming. It's not the Son of Man coming again to the earth. It's the Son of Man coming to the Father, as spelled out in Daniel chapter 7. That's enough of what I'm going to say. All I'm going to say about that, there are other videos on on uh, YouTube and whatnot on the Internet where people talk in more depth about that and get more details. I'm trying to keep this not too long, and we're already at three and a half minutes, so we will leave it at that. It's a fulfillment. It's not a, it's not a failure. Okay, um, back to the beginning. He is warning them that he's sending them out into the midst of wolves. This is a reference, of course, to wolves, and wolves are the enemy of sheep, and sheep is often, shepherds and sheep herd is often the metaphor that we use. Wolves attack the sheep, and these wolves will be false prophets, as he talked about back in chapter 7, verse 15, the false prophets, wolves among the sheep. They are the ones that want to devour the sheep, even though they pretend to be sheep. So he's sending you out in, in out like sheep in amongst the midst of these wolves, and some of these wolves are, you think, are sheep. Then they're going to try to eat you. Um, so be wise. Be wise and be innocent. This is a contradiction sometimes, um, but to be pure. The innocence is pure. Be pure as doves. The purity of the of the Father, the Son. Um, beware, though, and, and be ready. But don't fear, because when you speak, the words you need will be given to you. The, the, the courage that you need. Um, many times we don't know how strong we can be until we need to be strong. We have to be no choice but to be strong. We don't know how wise we can be, how connected we can be to the to the Father, to the Son, and let, until we get to the point where we have to be connected. When we have to speak speak the Word of God, then's when we channel the Spirit. If we 
are in relationship. Okay, so stay in relationship with the Son um, and the Father and the Spirit. So, um, brother will betray brother, uh, father will betray child, child will betray parents. Um, there's going to be trouble, folks. There's trouble in River City, as they say. Um, this is, it's, it's not that we are going to have less discord trying to bring the message of God into the world. Just people are going to rise up against you. People are going to going to rally against you. And in fact, you will end up having resistance, not only as Jesus is having resistance from the synagogues that are being drugged into the sea of the synagogue. He's not only having resistance from the outside world, the Gentile world, world the, 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 those that don't want to believe in any God, but you have those that we think should be our brothers and sisters in Christ are working against us because... Right now, Christianity is going through this terrible thing, um, especially in the mainline Protestant movements, um, where we are bowing to the to the altar of Baal because of the we're bowing to the culture. We're no longer countercultural. We are becoming uh, advocates of the culture rather than the, the, the culture of hum, humanism, rather than the culture of Christ. And we need to get back on board. We need to be aware of these wolves because they're amongst us. Um, and so we need to find the truth, the truth the, the Father and the Son and the Spirit. We need to speak the truth. We need to stop rationalizing our sins. I speak about that fairly regularly. We have become great at rationalizing away our sins rather than confessing our sins and admitting our sins. And that's the first thing you have to realize is that you have to confess and realize your sins. Uh, I am a sinner. You're a sinner. So I had to break a deal. But I can try to confess my sins, though I fall short of even that. All of us fall short of that because some of us, you just, you just can't quite let go of that. Um, but we have to work on it. And we certainly, we certainly can't be trying to come up with excuses to why my sin is not a sin because of this, that, and the other thing. Scripture tells you what's a sin. Guess what? You need to confess it. You need to come clean. You need to understand that you're not to be of this world. That's not what we are. We're in this world, but we're not to be of this world. And we're really quickly promoting the world rather than Christ. And that's a problem. That's going to be a real problem. Uh, I don't want it. We all come to judgment. I don't want to be amongst the ones that say, I was advocating for this culture. Um, I'm very adamant that I'm pro-life for one of the things. I don't want to step before Christ and say, oh, by the way, I was promoting that, that we, you can decide to kill, kill your child. And that's there's no consequences to that. That's a problem, folks. You don't want to step before the Lord and have him say, gosh, you were advocating for homicide? I don't think so. The most vulnerable of all, you're willing to allow the most vulnerable to be sacrificed at the, at the temple or the altar of Baal. Don't do it. Bad idea. All right. With that, I'm going to let you go for today. We'll just have a short, a short one tomorrow. I think. I think we're just going to look at 24 uh, and 25 tomorrow. I think. But I may change my mind. I may pick up some more. I may go all the way to 33. I don't know. I got to figure that out as I go through the day tomorrow. But you have a blessed day tomorrow and today, and uh, we'll see you all later. Please be a blessing to someone today. Take care. God bless.